So is now the time to build a PC or even upgrade your PC? Well, the answer I think is the clearest now than it's ever been and there's a few huge reasons why that's so. Let's talk about it. Hey guys, Tiago with Classical Technology here. Remember to subscribe and smash that like button. Some say every time you do both, you get a little bit closer to actually finishing that last component of your PC, and we all know it's probably the GPU. All right, so we're going into April of 2021, and let's see if it's the best time to build a PC or not. Now, we do this regularly on the channel simply because the atmosphere and the environment is always changing. I guess atmosphere if you're going up like SpaceX, the environment if you're here on earth so it's always changing pretty rapidly not only with availability especially with gpus and sometimes cpus but pricing has also gotten out of control both from msrp as well as on the secondhand market so we're going to answer that question is now the time to build a pc let's talk about a few important factors and at the end we'll discuss if it really is time now or if you should continue to wait so of course the big important item will be the the GPU, we're going to tackle that right after sort of the other main components that you need to build your computer. The second important item will be the CPU. Now is as best time as any to build your computer. Let me tell you the reasons why. First, Ryzen 5000 is finally becoming available in more and more numbers. It's now fairly easy to find something like the 5600 or the 5800X. Of course, the 59 and 5950X continue to be a little bit elusive. They certainly do seem to be a little bit more difficult to find, but even those I've seen pop up here or there, but you can fairly easily find a 5600 or a 5800X. Of course, if you're looking for the higher end, the Threadripper has remained pretty much wide widely available. Once in a while the 24 core will sell out, but for the most part those because they're more expensive, they require more expensive motherboards, those certainly have been available. And the other Intel CPUs have been mostly fairly available, the 10900K, in fact they've been priced pretty well the last few months that Ryzen has been sold out. Even the 10900K dipped down to like 399 or below, and of course the 18 core and the X299 CPUs have generally been readily available at places like Micro Center. And Another CPU release is happening tomorrow, that's going to be on the 30th, and of course that's going to be Intel's 11th generation Rocket Lake, primarily things like the 11600K, 11900K. Now keep in mind that these of course are an option if you can't find the Ryzen CPU that you want, but certainly they've gotten a fairly lukewarm response. I mean the 11900K dropped back down to 8 cores from 10 cores on the 10900K, and even though it does seem to perform pretty well in single threaded applications, it has better IPC, things all that are going to be fairly decent for gaming. That's all things that something like the 5900X already have, even the 5800X, which is an 8-core CPU. So we really have to see how the 11th generation Intel will pan out. But at the end of the day, it's most likely a stopgap between whatever Intel is going to be releasing next. They did get a new CEO, so I'm sure that the 11th generation is sort of something that was planned years ago already, or at least months ago before, you know, Ryzen 5000 and all these things came out so we have to see what the next generation intel will be but keep in mind you do have that available just in case you can't find something else like ryzen 5000 at least you can get something from a newer generation after all it is going to have pcie generation 4 and a couple of new motherboards as well so that's certainly going to be interesting so aside from the cpus everything else if you're building a computer seems to actually be you know fairly priced fairly available things like cases motherboards power supplies even seem to be available it's certainly not a drought like it is with the GPU sphere. So today we're now going to focus primarily on the GPUs. This is where your question will be answered. Should you build a PC? Yes or no. You can get everything else, including the CPU at this point. And I'm going to tell you that yes, now is the best time to build your PC. Here's why. Prices and availability are not going to get any better from this point. This is the reality. In fact, there's been some pretty big news. MSI recently revealed that they're going to increase prices further. Now, we're not talking about the initial tariff increase that we got in the beginning of the year that we saw from everybody from ASUS, EVGA, MSI. Prices went up to pretty astronomical levels. We're talking about a second round of price increases. And if MSI is doing it, you can bet all of the other third party AIB partners will be following very soon as well. Now, they're pretty much saying now it's just because of the scarcity. Um, ASUS 
even mention that sort of the yield that they're having with the GPU dies are a little bit more difficult. There certainly is a tremendous amount of stuff going on with manufacturing. But at the end of the day, I just think that the demand is so massive from both gamers as well as miners and pretty much the entire industry. Even the car industry now has a pretty serious shortage of silicon chips. So certainly it isn't only computer parts, but with everything being in such high demand, we're gonna continue to see prices skyrocket and availability be pretty, pretty limited. Now, the last GPU that launched was uh, in fact this. This is the 6700 XT. And how was I able to get this? Well, the Newegg Shuffle. I signed up and for the first time, I was actually able to you know, get on the Newegg Shuffle. They basically email you and tell you you have a certain amount of time to be able to check out and get the product. Now, this is the Asus Tough, which is pretty embarrassingly expensive. It is not the $479 MSRP that you'll get with something like the Reference Edition from AMD. This one, in fact, cost well over $800, and I'm even a bit embarrassed that I even bought this because it should be closer to $500, but when it comes up, it's the only GPU available. Might as well get this because if I had to buy this from a scalper or on the secondhand market, these are going for well over $1,000 now, $1,100 or $1,200 in some cases. And remember, 6700 XT isn't a high-end card like a 3080. This is just something that's slotting sort of in between the 3060 and the 3070. So that's certainly a very expensive price. And of course, it is Asus, so it's going to be a little more expensive than some of the other third-party partners. But as you can see, build quality is actually really fantastic. This feels as good as a 3090. Really, the build quality, everything's very nice. It has a triple fan design. The card looks really good. And I did test it out. It does run a bit hot for a 6700 XT. I would have thought it runs cooler. Like the 3070, runs significantly cooler than a 3080 or 3090. Specifically also because it doesn't have the GDDR6X RAM. It just has the regular GDDR6, much like this does. But otherwise, in my initial brief testing, it seems to be a decent GPU, especially if it's only 479. If you you could ever find it for that now for eight hundred dollars i would recommend you get a 3070 or whatever else you can find around that level even a 6800 would be i think a, a little bit better but unfortunately this is an example of where we are with the gpu shortage but just goes to show you that it still is kind of possible to get a gpu even at micro center if you live near one once in a while gets these drops you just have to keep an eye on newegg on best buy i've done various videos sort of giving people hints about where to go from the evga to Best Buy to Newegg to of course Micro Center. Amazon is a little bit hit or miss. You have to follow these Twitter bots that give you notifications or maybe Discord. That way certainly you can get a notification. Sometimes it's okay. Sometimes it doesn't really work. Well I should say most of the time it's not going to work but once in a while you can get lucky. Back a few months ago I got lucky on one of these notifications and was able to get a GPU back then. So you just have to keep trying but the point is I would get a GPU now if you can find it. As bad as GPU GPU pricing is now in availability. It looks like it's actually getting worse, not better. In the beginning of the year and last year, we kind of thought that maybe going into April and May, we would see a better situation develop, but it really hasn't turned out that way. Now is pretty much one of the worst times at finding a GPU in terms of prices and in terms of availability. But even though it's the worst time now, I think it's still going to get worse. That's why I think it's the best time now. Of course, the best time would have been at the end of last year when all of these new GPUs released. They were available pretty much 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 cheaper and it was a little bit easier to actually get them even from drops and even if you paid second hand like a scalper that people hate to pay if you had done this with a 3080 back at the end of last year you could have gotten it actually for a pretty good price compared to the msrps today and we're not even going to go into the prices that people are charging on the second hand market for the higher end gpus i mean 3080s are nearing like two thousand dollars and 3090s are almost three thousand dollars in some cases now I don't know if people are actually buying those or not, but it's hard to find even those GPUs if you search around on the secondhand marketplaces. So I'm assuming it's either very, very low stock and those aren't selling or or some people are actually buying them, kind of showing sort of the really bad situation of the GPU. Now, you can't really look at MSRPs anymore, take them with a grain of salt. They're basically just a suggestion that a random person or two will be able to sort of get if they're lucky with a drop or straight from the manufacturer. But for the most part, you're definitely gonna be overpaying for these GPUs. 
But if you get lucky and you get a GPU from somewhere like Newegg or Best Buy, at least you'll be overpaying only a bit more than you would if you're doing it with a scalper or on the secondhand market. And while it is nearly impossible to get a GPU, it's not quite impossible. One or two can still slip through the cracks. You're going to have to really keep your eye out. And worst case, you may just have to pay a little more if you really need a new GPU, just because you're going to be waiting for a long time. I don't think these prices are going to stabilize. I don't think the stock situation is going to stabilize according to the information and the news that we see out there there's really nothing to signify that anything's going to get better all right guys so to summarize i do think now is the best time to build a pc you have access to basically everything else including cpus that are finally available the caveat here is the gpu so either you're using something that's older or you get lucky with one of these drops but if now isn't the best time to build a pc it's not going to be any better for a very long time that's why i think we're sort of at the peak now and we're going to be dropping even further further like i said the peak was probably at the end of last year when these gpus released but slowly and gradually it got worse where people expected it to get better so i think do what you can now because in a few months by the end of the year i still don't think the stock and availability is going to improve and as we've seen from the recent msi news the prices for these gpus continue to go up even further straight up msrp we're not even talking about scalper prices all right guys so if you like the video remember to subscribe smash that like button i hope you guys have a lot of luck getting that gpu out there let me know if you have any questions below and i'll see you guys on the next video